Hey Cam, hey Jordana. So, it's the first day of school again, you know what that means. Do you have to? Oh my god, Felix Evans, don't sass me. Well, are you coming or not? Of course I am. Are you guys excited? Are you kidding? We have Miss Malik first period. That woman is a living nightmare. Yeah, but at least we'll all be in there together. Remember freshman year when we had English one period after the other? Yeah, but it didn't even matter. Mrs. Evans always made that class so great, even when we had to read the most boring crap ever. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, let's go to it before we're late. Um, did you bring that tripod? All right. Can you, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Smile. He's holding up. Well, if you ever need anything. All right, thank you, Miss Malik. Right. Oh my God, what did she say? Um, just if I need anything. Maybe she's not that bad. <laughs> Do me a favor and stop pouting all the time. Okay. Your mom's funeral was two weeks ago, remember? Besides, I heard that new English teacher is way better than she was. Cody, get a life. How did that burglar kill her anyway? The cop said he didn't even own a gun. If you ask me, I think Mr. Evans was getting tired of having to deal with his stuck-up wife. He saw an opportunity, and he took it. All right, that's enough. Yeah, Jordan, what are you going to do? <laughs> Call your mom? Nothing. Just Cody Ryerson being a total douchebag. What did he even say? I don't know, something about the burglar and how he, how he didn't have a gun or something. Well, what does he even mean? Of course he had a gun. That's how she, I, I don't know, okay? I was there. He had a gun, okay? Okay, just go to the library. Do you ever feel weird just sitting in here? Why should I? I don't know. I just, because this is where your mom was when. No. I mean, not really. I felt wrong for the first couple of days. Like it should have been me. But somehow, I guess I shook that feeling after a while. I don't even know why I had it in the first place. It sounds like survivor's guilt. No, it's different. Like I did something wrong. I guess I couldn't have done anything differently, and I've been telling that to myself over and over, but I just cleared my mind after a while. Hey, you're gonna be okay. Cam, do you like anyone at school? I thought you came over to help me figure out what happened back in July. Yeah, but I was just wondering. Well, honestly, I'm just trying to get through the school year. I'm not really looking for a relationship, so. Right. Yeah, me too. 
Hey, look at this. Carolina Evans, 42, was in her living room last Friday night when an intruder broke into her home around 11.30 p.m. when they thought the family was asleep. Ms. Evans was in the living room when she heard glass break from the front of the house. Before she could do anything, the intruder found the family's gun, which Mr. Evans says they had purchased in case of a situation like this. I thought he brought the gun with him. Well, clearly not. Mr. Evans and his son Felix both ran downstairs to find Mrs. Evans on the floor and the burglar running out of the front door. Jordana, there's something I should tell you. I was at Felix's house last Saturday and he said he had this... He said he felt weird in the first few days after the burglary. Well, obviously he felt weird. Cam, his mom just died. No, like, he said he felt like it should have been him. So I thought, survivor's, survivor's guilt. guilt. But he said it wasn't that. And this is the part that really threw me off. He said all he needed to do was clear his mind. But have you noticed that he hasn't even laughed or smiled recently? I know you don't want to hear this, Cam, but I think we need to step back and consider. You and I both know Felix wouldn't be upstairs in his bedroom at 11.30 p.m. He was probably downstairs on the computer. I mean, what if the burglar never shot Mrs. Evans? What if the cops had it all wrong? Cam, what if Felix... What if this? What if that? Felix wouldn't even hurt a fly. You really think he could pull a trigger? No, okay, you're right. We're totally jumping to conclusions. Come here. I'm gonna talk to my mom, okay? She arrested the killer, so if anyone knows anything about this, it'll be her. Felix, can you tell me again what happened that night? Why? Honestly, I don't know. I've just never heard it from your perspective. Well... I was already downstairs when that psychopath came in, but I didn't notice because I had headphones on. Then, all of a sudden, I saw the kitchen light turn on, so I went to go see what my mom was doing, and there he was, pointing the gun at her. I screamed and ran, but it was too late. She was on the floor in seconds. You said you brought the gun with him. How could you be so sure? Because our gun is locked in a drawer, and I passed it on the way to the kitchen. He had to have brought his own gun. Right here, it says, The intruder found the family's gun, which Mr. Evans says they had purchased in case of a situation like this. And then it says you and your dad ran downstairs. What? That's not what happened. Our gun is still in the drawer. It hasn't been touched in years. Cam! Didn't you get my calls? I called you like 12 times. I just talked to my mom at the station and she said that after she arrested the burglar, he said he's gonna plead innocent. Why would he try to plead innocent? He clearly shot her, there's no denying that. Apparently he has a mental illness. He's probably gonna say anything to get out of his sentence. The new story doesn't make sense. But that's not the weirdest part. When I talk to my mom, I can tell when she's lying. She has this giggle where she clenches her fist and tries to hide it by putting it in her pocket. There is something she's not telling me. Felix, what is going on? Do you ever have this knot in your stomach? And it just won't go away until you do something about it? You said the intruder brought his own gun. And your family's is locked in the kitchen drawer, right? Where is the key? The only way to know the truth is if we check it ourselves. We need to see if the gun is in there. You're right. We'll fix this. Hey, hey, I'm gonna make this go away, okay? I'm sorry, Mom.
You're right. You're right. Can I help you say it louder? You're right. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Don't do that, that was so good. Okay, okay. Play school again, you know what that means. <laughs> Bro, what's up? So... Good morning. Wait. One, 0195. Zero, no, yeah, 0195. <laughs> hey, I, 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 <laughs>